So this is going to be a short tutorial on how to mark Blackboard tests online in the case of those exams where you have got uh, a set of questions that students either have a choice of or they have to complete all of them but in either case different questions are going to be marked by different members of staff. Now what you don't want to do as a member of staff is have to trawl through all of the submitted answers to see who uh, attempted your question. So what you want to do is mark only those responses that took your question. And so this is how you go about doing it. So once the exam has finished, you go to the module in question, in which case, in this case, it is a temporary module of mine, so there's no worry about any student information. Scroll down to Grade Center, and you can either do Full Grade Center, which shows you everything that they've done, submitted every quiz, etc. Assignments, which is more akin to the file submission coursework assignments that we're more used to or tests and tests is the one that we want to click on today because it gives us a narrower uh, field to work from. So these are the things that have been created as Blackboard tests. It won't show me any coursework, it won't show me any formative quizzes, anything like that. Uh, this is the one that I'm going to show you. Now if, you, uh, if everyone has done the same question, say it's an essay question and everyone, uh, every member of staff is going to mark some of them, then you would go to the individual submission, click on the drop down, click on the attempt and mark it that way. And that's in a separate video. For today, however, we want to be clicking on the drop down for the, the column itself in Grade Center. And in this case, you're going to choose Mark Questions. Now this then shows you all the questions that were in the paper, okay, of which they had to do four of these for this particular pretend exam. This is my question that I'm interested in marking. And because it was part of the same test, but they didn't have to do all the questions, it will show full responses for everything. So there's one student sitting in the exam, which is pretend me. Um, I had one response, or rather I attempted the test, and that test included all of these questions. So it doesn't matter what the number is next to uh, my question that I'm going to mark, but you click on it, and it takes you into all those that did that particular question. And here we can see my given answer is this will be my answer for question one. So the pretend student me wrote that in as their answer to question one. That is what I mark. So you click on edit and you type in whatever score you're going to give them and any feedback if you are doing so. So we can type in there that I get zero because I clearly did not answer it. And if I want to give feedback, go and submit. Job done. That is marked. The student has zero. If I had another question and if I had another question I could go back to that list of questions and mark all of say I was marking question three as well I could go back and mark all the question threes. This is quite useful because it gives you extra information to work with if you want it. Okay and that's really all there is to it. Now, if you uh, want to, say you've got 150 to mark, you're not going to do it all in one sitting, but you don't want to figure out which ones you have and haven't marked. You could scroll through and look for the ticks. That would tell you that you've marked them. But if you come in later, you can also filter the questions by needs marking. And then that could show you that now I've marked that one submission. There are no others for me to do. Job done. Mine is finished. Uh, in the case of the other markers, they mark theirs in their own time and when all of them have been marked and therefore the entire test has been marked it would then show in grade center as a score now because it had multiple questions that had to be completed and the final thing wasn't marked it's not showing the grade there and that's great because we don't want the student to see the marks for individual questions now that assumes that you have set your blackboard test up your online exam as a blackboard test by being quite specific with when they get their feedback, what feedback they get, if any, and what marks they get shown, if any. And I advise people to do total marks being shown after all attempts are marked, not just question marks as they come in. I hope you found that useful.